This morning, a troubling new coronavirus variant in Vietnam that authorities say is a hybrid of variants found in India and the UK, causing Vietnam's first real surge of COVID cases. The country now in lockdown. Health officials warning the new variant spreads quickly by air. No cases of it have been reported in the U.S. With COVID variants driving new waves of infection, especially across Asia, there's renewed attention on the origins of the virus. There's going to be COVID-26 and COVID-32 unless we fully understand the origins of COVID-19. President Biden last week setting a 90-day deadline for U.S. intelligence agencies to get closer to knowing whether the virus spread from a bat through an animal to humans or if it's possible it leaked from a lab. The World Health Organization now facing demands for a deeper investigation. We would ask that this be done in a depoliticized environment where science and health is the objective uh, of this uh, and not blame and politics. That there's no proof of any scenario is renewing debate around the Wuhan Institute of Virology and China's top virus research lab. When NBC News was given rare access to the lab last year, lab officials not surprisingly denied any problem. So you're 100 percent confident there was no leak, no accident? I'm confident there's no leak. 100 percent? 100 percent. A recently revealed U.S. intelligence report confirmed by NBC News found three workers at the lab were treated for COVID-like symptoms at a hospital before the outbreak in Wuhan. Pressure is now mounting on China to provide greater transparency and more access to data, though the government here accuses the U.S. of a smear campaign and what it calls political manipulation in trying to blame China. China wants any investigation to look at other countries, even other labs, including in the U.S. That's been their position from the outset. The only real change now is that the lab leak theory has made it into the mainstream. The U.S. intelligence community will need to lean on international partners to come up with something. Though scientists are always quick to remind us, Craig, that there is the possibility we may never know. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.